Hi, welcome to Car Hunter, and this is part two of restoring the tractor. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to strip some of the engine parts, paint them. Uh, if anything needs new, then we'll change it. We're going to have a new fuel tank, new battery, new uh, air filter. Just generally put it all back together, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get it running. Let's get cracking. Took the front cover off and side covers. To expose the engine just unscrew that so what i'm going to do is it's a single condition you know plenty of compression there i'm just going to clean it all up so all this rust get a wire brush on it anything that needs painting metal wise we're going to do we're just going to make it look a bit more better so that's what we're going to do now So the new petrol tanks come, it's second hand but it's in better condition so we've just placed it in. So I'm just going to put the bracket on and fix it, it's like so. Right, now we'll connect the battery back up and then we'll start priming it. It's filling up the filter as now, if you can just see. Let me get a bit closer. You can just see it trickling into the new filter. It was exciting. Right, I'll connect the battery up and I'll come back to you. Now that take it all apart again because there was no spark and it turned out it was this feed wire here it's connected here um when i unscrew it screwed it there was spark put it all back together there was no spark it's the part of the kill switch so i've took it all apart and i've cleaned it and now there's a spark um so there's fuel going to it, there's power going to it, it you've, you've seen it crank over. So now there's a spark, hopefully, fingers crossed, she should start up. So let's try it. Ignition on. So it's a bit smoky because I've just put new oil in it and of course the engine's been standing for 12 months but it's a runner so I'm happy with that now so 
just got to try and set up the carb so it's not running too rich um so yeah i'm happy so i'll put everything all back together now and then uh, we'll test it again when everything's back on with sod's law by the time i put all the grubbings back on it won't start again so we'll do that now right i've put it all back together hope you can hear me now i've took my mic off so you can hear the engine now i've opened all the doors hence why the traffic noise so fingers crossed now she'll start up on the turn of the key Well, we're nearly there. We just need some little bits now to finish her off, like the seat. I'm waiting for a new wheel for the other side to come, and then we'll paint them white. And then she's pretty much done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me rebuild this. Okay, it's not a, it's not a hot hatch or anything like that, but it's a, it's a good little project. And I think what we're going to do, I don't need it, so I'm going to sell it on. Um, I mean, it's ideal for somebody who's got a small holding or who's got a big garden and wants to put a trailer on the back. Beauty with these things, you can have snow plows and all sorts attached to them. So that's what we're doing, and then the money then will go on to a new project. So, again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give me a subscribe and give me a like. And I'll see you all again very soon. Take care.